So we're going to look at two more questions about arithmetic sequences in this video, and then we're going to move on to arithmetic series. So this first question here, uh, it reads, how many terms are there in the sequence? Uh, and it's a sequence here. So it goes 1, minus 3, minus 7, minus 11, and then dot, dot, dot means there's loads of numbers in between. But obviously, I'm not going to list off the whole, uh, the whole sequence the whole way down to minus 251, okay? So that means it stops at minus 251. That's the last term in the sequence. So from one to minus 251. And we have to find out how many terms there are in the sequence. And again, we're not gonna write them all out. That'd take forever. We're gonna do it uh, using maths, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is, as always, we're gonna write out the general term for the sequence. So uh, again, we're gonna write out this here. So T of N is equal to A plus N minus one multiplied by D. So A in this case is going to be equal to 1, because that's the first term. And then the difference between each number is going to be minus 4, minus 4, minus 4. So each time it goes down by minus 4. So from 1 to minus 3, it's minus 4. So from minus 3 to 7, minus 4. And minus 7 to minus 11 is minus 4. Yeah. So we're going to say D is equal to minus 4. So that means our T of N is equal to 1 plus N minus 1 multiplied by minus 4. Yeah. Um, so again, we know that t of n, depending on what number you give, will give you, say, one of these numbers. So what I mean by that is if you say t of 1, you should get 1. If you say t of 2, you should get minus 3. So when you put it into these numbers, and again, if you say t of uh, 3, we should get minus 7, and so on. So basically what we need to do now is we have to say t of n is equal to minus 251, and we have to find out what n is, yeah? Because as, as long as this is right, uh, if we say t of n is equal to minus 251, we'll find an answer for n, a whole number answer, and it'll be exactly which term it is in the sequence. So basically that's what we're gonna do now. So I'll go in red, and I'll say minus 251 is equal to one plus n minus one by minus four. Now we have to work this out, okay? So minus 251, is equal to one, uh, it's gonna be minus four n and then plus four. So minus four by n is minus four n, minus four by plus one, plus four. Move all the uh, numbers over to this side and keep the four n on this side. So minus 251 minus one minus four is equal to minus four n. And we're gonna have minus 256 is equal to minus four n. If we divide both sides by minus four, we're gonna get we're going to get that, oh, sorry. If we divide both sides by minus 4, we get 64 is equal to n. So I just write that out in a nicer way. n is equal to 64. So does that make sense? We just divided both sides by minus 4 here, and we get 64 is equal to n. So that's how to do a question like that. That means there are 64 terms in the following sequence. So from 1 the whole way down to minus 251, if you wanted to count each one of those, you have to count 64 of them. Yeah, so that's why it's just much quicker to do it uh, this way here. So hopefully that makes sense. Every time we're gonna write t of n is equal to a plus n minus one multiplied by d, find a, find d, and then in this case, we wanna find out which number term is minus 251, or in other words, how many terms are there in the sequence, because this is the last term. Uh, if we find what number term that is, that's the same as all the terms. So t of n is equal to minus 251, and then we solve for n, yeah? Uh, okay, hopefully that makes sense. We'll move on to the next example now. So here's our second example here. Uh, it reads that t of four is equal to six and three multiplied by t of two is equal to t of 10. And what is t of n? And actually, one thing I just forgot to wrote is that they're all arithmetic uh, sequences, okay? Arithmetic sequences. So again, t of four is equal to six and then three multiplied by t of two is equal to t of 10. We'll find the general term t of n for this arithmetic sequence. So it's all the same arithmetic sequence or numbers in a sequence, okay? So it might seem a little bit confusing at first, but again, we're just gonna write, so t of n, let's start with this always, t of n is equal to a plus n minus one multiplied by d. So if you see here, n is gonna stay as n, so what we're looking for in this question is a and d, yeah? Because once we have a and d, then we have t of n, we have the general form, and that's what the question is asking us for. So I'll start by saying t of four anyway, we're just gonna start by this. Say so t of four is gonna be a plus four minus one multiplied by d, and we know that that's equal to six. Okay, so I'm gonna drop the t of four, it's gonna be a 
plus 4d uh, minus d is equal to 6 or just a plus 3d is equal to 6 so yeah really you could have just said 4 minus 1 there as well um, I just did it that way it doesn't really matter so that's our first equation so we're going to keep that there and we'll come back to it uh, and now I'm going to go in green and I'm going to say now this line here okay so we're going to say t of 2 is going to be a plus 2 minus 1 multiplied by d or a plus d yes that's what t of 2 is and then t of 10 is going to be a plus 10 minus 1 multiplied by d so a plus 9d okay so we have those two so now we can stick that into this equation here this might look a little weird we're going to say, I'll go orange, that 3 multiplied by t of 2, okay, so that's a plus d, a plus d is equal to t of 10, which is a plus 9d, a plus 9d, right? So now we have 3a plus 3d is equal to a plus 9d, so I'm going to move all the a's and the d's over, so we're going to get then, it's going to be 2a minus 6d is equal to 0. So now we have two equations here in a and d. So hopefully you can guess what's going to come next is we're going to use simultaneous equations to solve those two equations. So I'm just going to scroll up to make more space. So it's going to be a plus 3d and 2a minus 60 is equal to 0. So let's start that here. So it's a plus 3d is equal to 6 and 2a minus 6d is equal to 0 yeah and now we need to solve for a and d so i'm going to multiply everything on the top line here by 2 so i'm going to say multiply by 2 i'm going to rewrite that here it's going to be 2a plus 6d is equal to 12 and at the bottom we're going to have 2a minus 6d is equal to 0. so you can cross out these two 6d's here so we're going to add the two lines together and we're going to have purple 4a so 2a plus 2a uh, is equal to 12 and that means a is equal to 3 and then we need to sub that back in I'm going to sub back into this one up here to find what d is equal to so uh, again a plus 3d is equal to 6 so that means 3 plus 3d is equal to 6 so that means 3d is equal to 6 minus 3 3d is equal to 3 and d is equal to 1. So hopefully that made sense there. So just sub a is equal to 3 back into one of your equations and then you just need to solve it for d. So you move it around until you get d is equal to 1. So that means uh, we don't know what t of n is exactly. We'll just finish that down here in this space here. So sorry for getting a little bit messy. Uh, and I'll go bright blue. So again, if t of n is going to be equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d and in this case a is equal to 3 and d is equal to 1 then what we're going to have is t of n is equal to 3 plus n minus 1 multiplied by actually i'm not even going to write it just one on the other side okay so you don't have to write anything else so that is our t of n that's our answer and that's how you solve questions like that so that's the end of the video there sorry that was quite long um yeah so those are two other kind of arithmetic uh, or arithmetic qu uh, sequence questions. Those are the kind of hardest questions I think you're going to get uh, in the exams, the ones like those and the one in the last video. That should cover you pretty much for everything to do with arithmetic sequences. And the next video, we're going to start looking at arithmetic series. Okay, so we'll see you then and hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.